Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this cane video, I'm going to talk about round handles. Now, there's tons of different kind of handles that are out there. Designs, uh, colors, weights, sizes, shapes. But there are basically three kind of configurations, or, you know, if I'm saying that correctly. You usually have kind of a rounded type ball weight like this or you have kind of like a gentleman style what they used to call in the old Victorian days like this where the hand rests and then you have the traditional horn where the crook's bent now with that said I'm going to just kind of go over this one a little bit this came um, out of all three of the handle styles that I just showed you this one's my least favorite. Not that it's my, my, it sucks or anything. To me, it's my least favorite cane to walk around town with. You know, does it stop you from doing everything a cane does? No. Support your weight, hand, your hand goes right around the ball weight, <clears throat> and it keeps you secure. So, it'll do all the functions of what a cane's supposed to do, mobility. Now, for self-defense, let me talk about that for a minute. <clears throat> it limits your abilities with the top part. Now, as far as the cane itself, can I strike with it? Yeah, just like I would in the other cane. Can I thrust with the shaft area? Absolutely, my bayonet strikes up. Can I rifle strike? Absolutely. Can I strike here and strike here? Absolutely. Now, when it comes to the ball weight, can I hit? Absolutely. Can I thrust? Absolutely. So I can do exactly the same thing. You know, I can hit, I can thrust. Now when it comes to limitations, for takedowns. I don't, can I take down somebody with this? Yes, there are ways. Either he doesn't have arms, or there's a ways to hook the arm, come up under the chin. I have videos where I've done that before. When I was teaching a seminar to a martial arts school in Palm Harbor, I was showing that technique and showing more advanced black belts how to use that. And you can hook them down. There's ways to come up underneath, hook with your cane, take them down, hook the legs. There's a dozen different ways to take somebody down without using a horn. But you are limited on your takedowns because you don't have a proper horn to hook. So it limits you. Doesn't mean you can't, just puts a little more limitation. Now, with that said, also, this, because now this one is a skull, and this is solid. This entire top is solid. What does that mean in a nutshell? I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna hold it with two fingers. Bam, top heavy. So my swings are gonna be, don't get me wrong, when I hit something, I'm gonna destroy it, I'm gonna crush it. Yes, my swings though, may not be as fast. Granted, I have the weight of the momentum of the ball, but it may not be fluid and smooth as if the cane itself was in one entire weight. Because there's, most of the weight is back here. You know, if I try to do a level thing, it isn't going to happen. So, another thing about... Now, this cane here is not, not a solid wooden cane, okay? It's a... I think it's made out of, of cheaper wood. I don't even know if it's really solid through there and it's just painted. So this is more of a novelty style cane versus a cane you're gonna to wanna to use actually for a combat situation. This cane here, being that it's top heavy and being that this is not a really 100% secure solid piece of wood, and even if this was a solid piece of wood, as much weight is on this ball, I don't know the exact weight, but this ball, this is a solid metal piece so it's pretty heavy. When I do hit something, I'm gonna put a lot of stress right here. For me, I think the point where it's gonna crack is gonna be right around here. Because so much weight, when it hits, if I miss and I hit something or I catch something here, it's gonna crack this because of the weight. My opinion. I'm not gonna test it because I wanna damage my cane, but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. And another thing about this one here, let me see if I can get it to do it. Is 
See that? It loosened because this is a screw on. Now, when I unscrew it, before anybody asks, it won't come all the way off. You know how some have like a cigar holder or a little holder for some a drink. Most canes have a cigar holder in there. It has a pin still going through it um, to keep up in here, from what I understand. So you can't unscrew it, but it loosens it. Because I tried to unscrew it like all day, it won't happen. But it loosens it and it allows me to tighten it back up. So I don't know why, but it... So basically... When you hit something a couple times, it's going to loosen up on you. Granted, you only need to hit them maybe once, but that's something else I don't like about this cane. I'm not saying all ball weight canes are like that. I don't know. I've seen a lot of them that have, like, the uh, besides the skull here, I've seen them with a uh, cue ball style or the eight ball or a planet like Earth, you know, um, different round shapes. You know, so there's all kinds of them out there. But again, it does what it's supposed to do as far as a cane. It will get you out of a pinch for self-defense. It'll, it'll work. But the handle's not one of my favorites. I don't mean the skull. I mean the three different kind of shapes. This is my least favorite. So if you have one out there, still practice. Still practice your striking with the shaft part. Practice your striking with the ball weight. Practice your thrust on both sides. Practice your rifle strike. Practice hitting on both ends. Practice everything you do with a cane. You can even work on takedowns as long as you're using the shaft because obviously without a horn, you're not going to do any of that. Uh, one thing good thing about having a big ball weight is the fact you got to break a window. And don't get me wrong, cane will break a window easily. Of a car try to get somebody out well this is a lot heavier so that's probably one of the pluses about it but again if you have one of these um great send a picture i like to see some pictures of them and if you collect them great that's kind of what i do i collect canes so and this actually this one was a gift that's why i like this because it was a gift from a student and you know cool little skull but again if you have this kind of cane and that's what you use Work with it. Get out there, work the striking, work the moving. You can even hook the resistor bands to this one and work the resistor bands. As long as it's solid and you're not going to crack it, it's not cheap, it'll work. Um, so practice and get out there and explore and have some fun. But I just wanted to cover really quickly the ball weight and on the handles. Kind of why I'm not, you know, again, my least favorite style of handle. So, Gary Hernandez, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.